Jesus. This is the South Polar Ice Cap. It's the month of May, so it's no big surprise that another dust storm is blowing through the Valles Marineris here on Mars. I intend to keep my eye on this storm from a very safe distance. You've made a journey through outer space, so go ahead and rearrange your face. your chance to make a postcard you can print and send home from Mars. Just click a background to get started. If you want to add more stickers, it's simple. The more things you click outside the bus, the more stickers will show up here. Use this tool to make your stickers larger or smaller. My stars, get your helmets on and let's check out Mars. Welcome to Land on Mars, where you can master the art of the perfect landing. Click around the lander, or use the arrow keys, to fire the thrusters and slow it down so it doesn't crash. See if you can get to a landing pad safely before you run out of fuel. Happy landing! Cool! right through the easy level. See you later! Welcome to Race Your Rover! 
Just click where you want your rover to go and see if you can collect more rocks than Liz's rover. You can pick up solar energy to go faster and monster tires to get across the craters. If you want to make the game harder, click the levels button. Good luck and may the best rover win. You made a clean sweep of the easy level. See you next time! Ms. Frizzle says that the air on Mars is almost 100 times thinner than the air on Earth. I sure hope there's enough oxygen inside this spacesuit to last until we go home. Don't worry, Arnold. We have everything we need for our adventure to succeed. As my Aunt Petunia always says, be prepared and you won't be scared. According to my research, Mars is the fourth planet away from the Sun in our solar system. And the closest Mars ever comes to Earth is about 34 million miles. That's one neighbor we're not likely to run into at the mall. Right now it may be cloudy and cold on Mars, but in just a few days we could be in the middle of a giant dust storm. Scientists have to use an electronic thermometer on Mars because the mercury inside a regular thermometer would freeze. And who wants to take their temperature with an icicle? A spunky little rover, just like this one, was used by the Pathfinder mission to explore Mars. It was called Sojourner, which means traveler. Does anyone know how a cyclone on Mars would compare to a cyclone on Earth? I'm not sure I want to know. Here's what you get when you mix dust with super fast winds. That bouncing beach ball is actually the Mars Pathfinder using airbags to cushion its fall. Pathfinder bounced more than 15 times when it landed, but none of its equipment was damaged. Are you ready to quit? See you back on the bus another time!